So out of the previous videos on this Four Seasons compressor, when you're looking at the instructions to do your oil fill and you read the instructions and they talk about using the right oil, they do have one tag on here that says 46 oil, but then it counters what their instruction sheet that they give you in here. So if this was missing or you know how some shops, you have one technician put on the part and then you have another technician fi finish up the job, especially if uh, you're one of those shops who believes I get the C-level technician, who's the R&R &R guy, he does the heavy lifting, and then I get my you know, B or A-level technician to do maybe the other part. So technician, C-level technician takes off this, throws it on there. B-level technician knows nothing. Here's another scenario. So B-level technicians goes, oh, I gotta balance out the oil or I gotta add oil, what do I need to put in here? So B-level technician takes the instruction sheet out of the Four Seasons with the Four Seasons instructions on it. And he goes to right back here. And he goes, okay, I'm in a, a Mercedes. I got a Harrison compressor. It's an A6. And here are the part numbers. And I go over to the part numbers. He looks up the part numbers. There's two different part numbers. Both of them are 150 viscosity oil completely the wrong oil that stuff is as thick as molasses or or maple syrup molasses is too thick um so that's a thick like gear weight oil for a rear end differential that is not for this compressor this compressor was made for 46 viscosity so if you were the technician and you went by the instruction manual that came inside here you would be putting the wrong refrigerant oil in and then in the earlier video I made that I should have posted, uh, it talks about when you follow the instructions in here, it tells you to add the remainder or do your oil balance through the oil fill plug. Now, in the earlier video, I showed you when I opened up the plug and I poured out the oil to measure what was in there, less than one ounce came out. But it had a purple sticker on there, a pink sticker that came apart that said there was three ounces, but that was draining the oil out of where they tell you to do the oil balance and the fill from wouldn't come out. Where the rest of the oil was stuck, they did have it in the suction line. So when I took out the caps here and poured it out, I got the three ounces. It was actually two and a half, but we'll say the other half ounces just stuck clinging to all the little nooks and grooves and crannies inside. So three ounces were in this compressor and it looked really thin. And that's what clued me in that, yes, that is the 46 peg it says there this instruction sheet is totally wrong uh but if you were a young technician again and you read and you went by filling or lubricant or oil balancing the system through the center bolt plug the young technician with very little experience and especially if they don't double check and don't think a double check they're just strictly following the instructions it says to go through this port only one half ounce cup so the young technician would go okay i'm low on refrigerant oil since i only got a half ounce out of there i'm going to add two and a half more ounces in there because the little purple tag was wrong that's because it was hidden out here in the suction line not in the center um, these are just little things that mess up technicians on oil balancing uh, it would be good if they updated this to specify what kind of compressor so an old remanufactured compressor that was made out of iron, it had an iron belly, it had a steel shell. It was the old iron compressor, the original A6 with the belly. If it was a reman, it would be 150 viscosity of right here, right here. But it doesn't say that anywhere on here. So they need to add a second line or they need to put an asterisk right in here. They need an asterisk and we need to go down to a footer saying if it's the old iron Frigidaire A6, you use this number. If it's the new aluminum body, new style, without the oil sump pump, then you use the 46. So just a little word to note, things that, and it will work with the 150 viscosity, it'll just have a shorter life. And when you get low on refrigerant, thicker oil has a tendency of not moving with the refrigerant very well so you have a higher extent of loading up refrigerant oil up in the evaporator so you'll starve the compressor and it'll have a shorter life when it gets low on refrigerant and start stacking oil up into the evaporator when it runs low 
These are all things that kill compressors. Compressors don't die. Compressors are murdered. See you guys later.